Hello again. Today I'm going to make a video about Chartbrew. It's an open source tool that also has a cloud version of it in case you don't have the ability to host it yourself. I talked about Chartbrew on version 2 and now they have a new version 3 that's been out for a little bit this year and just wanted to show a quick demo of it and talk about some of its features. I think it's a really great tool. I used it in some projects before. And so let's go ahead and take a look. There's also a GitHub repository here. So I'll go into that for a moment. And here we can see if we look at how many commits have been done, 2,397. And if I click on that, we can see here all of the different days recently and versions that have been made to the program, lots of fixes and enhancements and things going on with the program. So there's definitely a lot of activity going on in the product and just wanted to point out the GitHub repository. We can see on the home page of the GitHub, it says it is the open source web platform used to create live reporting, dashboards from APIs, Mongo database, Firestore, MySQL, Postgres, and more. And if we scroll down a little bit, you can see an example of one of the Chartbrew dashboards. And there are some setup instructions, which I actually walked through all of that on version two. There will be some changes in version three, and I plan to make another video and walk through the entire process and get it running on render.com, which is another cloud service. And they even have a button here, deploy to render. So I plan to walk through that in the future. But let's go back to the main page here on Chartbrew and take a look at what they got. So you can create client reports effortlessly, build yourself a robust reporting infrastructure for your business with this tool. You can get started for free. If we look at the pricing page, if you cannot host it yourself, then you have to go ahead and purchase a plan. You can get a starter plan for $29 a month. You can try it out for 14 days. And here you can see the differences between the different prices and, and options. So if you're interested, you can always give it a try for two weeks and see if it meets your needs or not. They do have a live demo here, which I'm going to go into that and show some of the cool things that it can do. But I just wanted to go through the home page here and we can see here the icon for going back to your main dashboard page, embedding and sharing information from this tool, setting your goals and set up alerts. You can also do automatic updates. You can change like your color palette and theming and different styles. And so here we have six different features of the tool client reporting. So here you can see uh, like the name of a team and then your dashboards, connections and data sets. Everything's organized nicely here on this screen. You can create a new dashboard and then you can see who the dashboard members are. Data alerts. So like you can create new alerts like when you reach a milestone or when a value is above a certain threshold or below a threshold when anomalies are detected. So it's pretty cool that you can set up your data alerts. You can share and embed information. So here you can enable or disable your sharing. There's a little code block here stuck in an iframe. If you want to copy the code, there's just a button right there to do that. Or you can copy a URL and embed that in different places in your other applications or websites. There's also client accounts here, so you can see the different roles. You could be a team admin, a dashboard editor, that would be a client role where you can manage all charts in the selected dashboards, or a dashboard viewer, which is a client role, and they can view all charts and reports in the selected dashboard, so you can lock down your permissions and also whether or not 
you want to allow data export, you can turn that on and off easily. There's also templates, so you can use templates to help speed up your work. An automatic update, so every chart that has a data source can be configured to automatically update, which is pretty powerful. So here we have a little video showing how it's optimized for collaboration and speed. It's tailor-made for teamwork. You can easily collaborate on dashboards and reports with your team and share your insights effortlessly with clients or stakeholders. And I've just found using a tool like this can really help speed up communication of information to different stakeholders or customers or clients just depends on what your needs are. And here you can scale your client reporting with templates. As I mentioned, you can replicate your dashboards for your clients using templates. You can then further customize the data sets to match each client's needs, again, saving you a lot of time. And here you can see you can choose from a lot of different data sources, including like an API option. So there's hundreds, if not thousands, and more API connections, whether they're internal, customer, or external public type of APIs, there is a way using this tool to go ahead and connect to those and to grab data from those. And we'll take a look at that in the demo here momentarily. So you connect to your data source and you can gather all your data in one place like we saw on the dashboard screen, you can create data sets they're the building blocks of your dashboards and there's a lot of really great features here in the settings of the data set builder and then of course visualizing your data there's a ton of different options and it's very easy to configure this tool to show your data and dashboards in different view types and as they mentioned here, you can create your dashboards with multiple visualization types and KPIs. You can track your goals, set up alerts, and filter data, and much more. And creating client reports with your own branding and share them with your clients. You can even invite your clients to Chartbrew to edit and view the reports and dashboards in real time. And here we have integrations. You can get your data from a wide variety of sources and there's more being added as time goes on. And there's some nice testimonials here about the product. So let's go ahead and scroll back up and take a look at the demo. I'll go ahead and click live demo and it fires up a chart brew demonstration that we can experiment with. So here is the dashboard page, which is this icon here. And each one of these dashboards has a data set behind it. So we can configure the overall dashboard. If we just click this button here, edit dashboard layout, it's really nice. You can move your dashboards around however you want to organize them. You can resize them. Like if you wanted this to take up more space, you just drag it down and it automatically resizes. It's very easy to customize. So let's say we want to edit this. We'll go ahead and click on edit chart. So in here we can change like the way the data is displayed right now. It's displayed as a KPI, the number of page views and the number of visitors. If we wanted to display it as a bar chart, we can just do that. And then if we go back to our dashboard, you'll see that it's already been updated automatically. So really easy to change up how your dashboard displays the data. So let's go ahead and edit this chart. So here we can see the donut chart option or pie chart option, a radar chart or a polar chart. And down here we can see we have global date settings, time intervals, whether or not you want to show data labels, 
or legends and a lot of other options and features here filters changing your colors there's just so much you can do here very easy to change and then we can go back to the dashboard and you can see it's been updated so what other options do we have here you can refresh your chart if you know something changed so it just went ahead and queried the backend database and updated that chart as you saw, we can edit the layout. You can automatically update each one of these charts if you want to. So if I click on that, you can select a preset and change every 10 minutes, 15, 30, hour, three hours, six hours, or 12, day, week, or month. Those are our options. And then you can choose other frequencies here on a custom basis. And also we can export to Excel individually here. We can add it to a report, which is another icon over here. If you want to build a report, if you want to embed and share, we can go ahead and click that. But right now, because it's a private chart, it can only be seen by members of the team. I'll go ahead and click the enable sharing and then we can see there are some different options here. We can select a theme, system default, dark or light. And then you can copy the code and put it into one of your other applications as an iframe, or you can copy the following URL. So they make it easy to share your chart on other websites. If you wanted to delete a chart, you can do that. Remove completely. So it's easy to delete things. Let's say we wanna change this size of this again to make it match. So there, we just did that. And here we have an export chart to Excel option. So here we can see which charts that I wanna export. The 30 day stats, devices, site stats, or browsers and countries. And then you can choose the one you want or all of them and then click export. And there is a refresh charts button that you can click on there. And there is a filtering option right up here. So a very powerful way to do filtering on your dashboard. Date filtering, variable filtering or matching field filtering. And then we have a few other options over here on the navigation bar so let's take a quick look at those here we have a report button which you can build that using other tools over here in the dashboard here we have some overall dashboard settings select a time zone give it a name here we get into the team members you can select a role or invite team members and you can see what the plan limits are, one out of 25 or zero out of 50 clients. And you can see the current team members is this team owner here. Then we have integrations. You can create new integrations that you can use across your team's projects. Currently, the integrations are mainly used for chart alerts and notifications. So we can add new web hooks and lastly, there is the variables option. You can create a variable, give it a name. So here is a variable screen. You can create your variables here. Variables are used to create dashboard filters that interact with your chart. So first, make sure your chart filters have variables defined, then you can add your variable filters from your dashboard. I also wanted to point out one other area of this application. If I click here on chartbrew.com, we go back to the home page, and here we can see the list of dashboards that were defined in the demo. That is the website stats. That's where we were at. So I can go back to the home page here, and we can see our connections. We can see our analytics API. 
and our data sets. So here we can see the different data sets that were created, refers, page views, visitors, countries, browsers, devices, and UTM sources. And then we have our team settings. So that is another set of options that you can configure. If we go back to connections, and data sets let's go ahead and pull up the refers data set and so here is the simple analytics api and we can see the url here and any uh, variables that were added and if there were connection headers like api keys or whatever that would be in here also so that's your query and then your configure screen So there is a data source for the data sets listed here on this page. Again, I think it's a great tool. It can really save a lot of time depending on what your needs are, of course, when you want to visualize data from different APIs and different sources that may be internal or external. So that is a quick walkthrough of the chart brew website and demo application and some of the main features of it and of course i showed the github so you can download it and install it and run it on your own like servers and cloud services and i do plan on walking through a new version of that process in a video where i will be talking about deploying chart brew on render which I have talked about render in other videos in the past. Well, I thank you for stopping by. It's been a minute and plan to make some other videos in the near future. And I thank you for watching the video and I'll talk with you soon. If you like this channel, please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when I post new content.